Hi, everybody. All right, before we begin, we're in the new hangar. So this is this is a very special video. This is actually was recorded just the other day, and uh, but I thought it was important because it deals with an upcoming uh, service bulletin from Vans, and who needs to see it, you know, months after the fact. So I thought, you know, for once I'll do something right. Uh, first, you see me here. Uh, so, how do you reset your brain? For me, I sort golf balls. So. Uh, that Home Depot bucket you see before you contains all the golf balls I've collected in the two years since the course across the street opened up again. And that's a, that's a full bucket. So I'm, right now I'm sorting them into brand and number of the ball. I know, I know. It just helps my brain reset. That's all I gotta say. Alright, so this is the new hangar. Uh, Ta-da! It's basically just behind the wall of the hangar that I used to be in. There I go dumping a bunch. Uh, okay, so let me give you a quick tour, which I accidentally had fast-forwarded. This is, looks creepy. All right, up front here, you see the lounge sign. Uh, over here behind the back of the plane at the moment, you'll see the rest of the parts yet to be attached. On the far side here, we have the work area. It's basically the backwards setup that we had in the last hangar. The, uh, of course, the lights in here are absolute uh, just shit. I mean, look at that. So I mean, I'm going to be upgrading that quickly. Okay, so we are covering the plane up. Uh, it's it's about to be rainy season, and it's hard to tell, but uh, there's some um, dripping on the floor between the seams of the metal and the roof, because you can kind of see them on the floor there. And since I don't know exactly where the rain's going to be, I thought it just better to be safe than sorry. All right, so here we're going to talk about, and this is what we're talking about in this video, is Service Bulletin 27. So Service Bulletin 27 from Vans has to deal with RV-14 nose gears. Uh, basically what is happening is if you have a really, really hard landing, uh, there is the chance that your landing gear will want to sort of flex backwards, and can, there's a danger of the uh, sort of front shock there breaking apart uh, fracturing a fuel line and causing a fuel leak and thus a fire. No one wants that. So what we're doing is we've got two objectives in this uh, service bulletin. One, we got to get the front uh, landing gear off and we had to remove some metal. Uh, here's a quick picture from the uh, service bulletin plan. So you see there's a nice little chunk in the front there that we've got to remove. And also we are replacing a washer on the top of the uh, spring area with the uh, engine mounts, basically this big shock. Uh, we're replacing a, a washer with a bigger uh, stainless steel washer, and that will accomplish what we need. So with the channel cut, God forbid, if there's ever a horrific landing and the uh, gear wants to go that way, it'll have, a, you know, the, the strut will be able to move backwards and not worry about snapping, which is, which is good. <clears throat> now, one thing that is a pain in the butt is that thing is solid steel. So... I have a diamond bit on my Dremel, and it still took me about an hour, which you're going to see me do. So, Oh, before I forget, I want to congratulate my buddies Jim and Gene. Got their 14A inspected today. Congratulations. So here I go with the Dremel. Okay, so while we're doing that, um, uh, some quick rant, because we're, you know, this is a full packed episode. So, uh, uh, to YouTube. YouTube can go f yourself. All right, so YouTube just sent the updated terms of service where, amazingly, YouTube is now reserving the right to put ads on any video they see fit, whether or not you were part of the monetization program or have it turned on or off. Yeah, YouTube is just reserving the right to put ads on. So, you know what? Jackasses. Of course, what they say over and over is that this is about fan uh, advertiser friendly content so no adult language Shit. Balls. so none of that we don't want any of that and uh, we don't want any suggestive material so we can't talk about your mom's sorry I know I bleeped all that it just re really upsets me I had a rant to share from my buddy Paul but he's wrong. He wanted to rant about flight schools. It's not flight schools that are problems, it's the pilots. All right. Uh, it is only when I started threatening the pilots in my club with 
basically UN sanctions for not cleaning the planes that they actually start to clean the planes. Some of them are actually honest about it, like, oh, you know, I'm terribly sorry, I completely had forgotten. Most people aren't like that. Most people are like, oh, did I forget to clean? Duh. They're shameless. So now that everything is good, so after we, you know what, okay, here's a quick picture of the cutout from the landing gear. All right, that is some thick steel. The thickest. So you saw uh, the close-up of the firewall, though it was hard to tell because, again, the light sucks in this hangar. I've got to replace these. Look, I got three lights up there. Each of those are 300 watts. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's all getting updated. So, yep, here is your sneak peek at the new hangar. Uh, next video, we're going to be ba going back in time and continuing to work on the plane in the old hangar. I just really wanted to show this as uh, might as well show a good timely uh, service bulletin video. All right, we're going to trail on out with me enjoying the first rainstorm of the season. My wife just happened to be in the city at a work dinner, so I got to kick it and have a cigar in the hangar. is a glorious thing. All right, have a great weekend. Thank you for joining me, everyone, and see you soon.